I mean, more is better, right? No, it gets cold too fast. Hello, lovely friends. How are you doing today? Great. Me too. Thanks very much for asking. Becca here, and on this edition of my Grit Tucky book vlog, we're going to talk about my somewhat extensive mug collection. Now, I did a video a few weeks ago about how I make a British cup of tea in America. Now I'm going to show you what I use to drink that tea. But before we start, let me just educate you on the difference between a mug and a teacup. I mean, Brits know this, but as Americans, we need to know. When you fix your tea in a teapot, you then pour that tea into a teacup. This is a little teacup that belonged to my grandmother and sits in my china cabinet. I don't normally drink tea from a pot because it's just me here at the house and I usually only want one cup of tea at a time. So when you're making a cup of tea for yourself and not in a pot, you put the bag in a mug, pour the water on top and make your tea in the mug. I've only been drinking tea for about a year now, a little over a year, and I didn't enjoy hot beverages before I started drinking tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. I was not a hot chocolate drinker. Green tea, chai tea. I didn't drink any of that. The only mugs that I had in my house were these nondescript white stoneware mugs that came with my set of dishes. I kept these in the cabinet for when my parents came over and wanted a cup of coffee. They generously donated me a coffee pot so that they could make coffee at my house when they came to visit. And I just keep these around for them or, or friends or whoever wanted to drink coffee, but I did not, so they didn't get used. I now have them standing on a cute little mug rack that my papa made for me. So again, they're just not being used. They're more like on display. These are the mugs that I use every day that I've fallen in love with. When I first started drinking tea, I thought, I really want some British mugs for my British tea. So I took a little trip to Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati and I picked up these two mugs. This one, England, with the English flag. This one for the UK got the Union Jack. I soon came to realize as I drank tea that while these are super cute and I love them, also whilst I was at Jungle Gym, I bought another mug and it has become one of my favorites. This is my McVitie's Rich Tea Biscuits mug. It's a fantastic size. It holds the right amount of tea and it also passes my all important Stroop Waffle test. You can set a Stroop Waffle on the top and the Stroop Waffle doesn't sink into the mug. It fits around the rim really nicely. So this is one of my first mugs and it's also one of my favorites. Shortly after John and I started speaking, I'd gone on a Disney cruise with Kate. And when I came home, he had enlisted the help of one of my good friends, Jesse, to leave me some flowers and treats on the table at my house when I got back. It was super sweet. And among those was this obviously well-loved mug. It used to say, be happy. Now it says, be ha. This is also a really good mug size if you want slightly more tea. I like something between this and this. Like this is just big enough and this is not quite too big. Happy medium between these two is where I like my mugs to fall. This mug does not pass the Stroopwafel test. I can make the Stroopwafel lay on it, but then if the Stroopwafel starts to sag, it's gone in the drink. I slowly started collecting mugs. It's a bit of trial and error before you find the mug that's the right size and shape for you. I at one point had a lovely mermaid tail shaped mug and then I realized that when you poured the tea into the mug, the tea filled up the handle which made up the mermaid's tail and when you tried to drink said tea, your hand was on the boiling hot tea. So that one didn't last long in my cabinet. I also bought some larger than this thinking, I mean, more is better, right? No, it gets cold too fast. You can't drink all that tea before it gets cold, or at least I can't. So now that I know how large I want my mugs to be, it's been a lot easier to start building up my collection. Two of my favorite mugs are made by Ulster Weavers, which is an Irish company. You can find their products on their website, but they also are available on Zulily and Amazon. This is just like a little, it's got like a metallic shimmer to it mug and it tells you on the bottom it was designed by Clarissa Hulse in partnership with Ulster Weavers. 
This is another Ulster Reavers mug. Ulster Reavers are more known for their kitchen textiles, which I have several, especially tea towels and double oven gloves. Maybe I should do a video about my kitchen textiles. They have some really cute stuff. Check them out because they have some American themed, they have some British themed, they have some really cutesy sloth ones or sheep ones, floral ones, ones with British recipes. This particular mug is from the line designed by the Royal Horticultural Society. I thought this was really pretty and classy. You can see the Royal Horticultural Society by Ulster Weavers. I just drank tea out of that one, so it's a little, got tea on my hands. They're a bit on the short side, but that's okay. They're wide enough that it kind of makes up for it. By the time Christmas 2019 rolled around, I was drinking tea on the reg. So John and I separately had the idea to get each other mugs for Christmas. But I didn't know that he was getting me one and he didn't know that I was getting him one. So the inspiration for these mugs that we've designed came from 90 Day Fiance. One of the cast members had never met her long distance boyfriend in person, but had photoshopped pictures of them together and had framed photos of him all over her house. Had also gone to the trouble of putting his face on her mug, which was interesting because they hadn't been speaking for that long. So for Christmas that year, John and I each had the idea to make each other a mug with our faces on it. John's mug was very sweet. It's got this handsome photo of him on it. And on the other side, it says, I love my man. He had that made for me. Mine was a bit more true to the source material. This is a lovely failed selfie of us that I put on John's mug. The writing on the back, I copied the way that the couple spoke to each other on 90 Day Fiance. I love you so much, baby. I can't wait to kiss you, my baby. I love you. Really? Me too, I want to kiss you, baby. Just text like that constantly. So I thought that was really clever. After that, for Easter, the Easter Bunny brought me a great British classic, the Cadbury Cream Egg mug. Came with actual Cadbury Cream Eggs. I was never a fan of Cadbury Cream Eggs until I tasted a British Cadbury Cream Eggs. So much better than the American. Too wide for a Stroop waffle, but it's just deep enough to hold a decent amount of tea. He also has a friend Cadbury Mini Eggs mug. They're the same size, same shape. They're sisters, not twins. Yeah, the Easter Bunny sent me these from England with some Cadbury mini eggs and some Cadbury cream eggs. I was very grateful. My mother has started giving me gifts of mugs, which is great because she bought this mug, which probably this one and the McVitie's are two of my favorite just to drink from on a daily basis because they both pass the Stroopwafel test and they both hold a good amount of tea without being too much or too little. But this one especially is close to my heart. It is from the United States Supreme Court with this pewter medallion on the front. And amazingly, a mug this size can hold a Stroopwafel. And because it's so deep, the tea stays hot enough to really get the Stroopwafel nice and soft. So this is a really good Stroopwafel mug. I've also collected mugs from my Quaintly boxes. I got this one and they're London themed London boutique box. And it is by Two Home from London. They have some really cute souvenir, kitschy type kitchenware. Quaintly also carries a lot of Victoria Eggs merchandise. This mug is a Victoria Eggs mug that I purchased from her website. You can find Victoria Eggs in several places. The Love British Lifestyle Shop, Etsy, Amazon, her website. Different ones have a different selection, so check them out. This one in particular is little Cockney slang sayings. And I think I talked about this mug in my Victoria Eggs video, but this is also too big for a Stroop waffle, but it holds a nice cup of tea. The most recent addition to my mug collection and the star really of the mug collection is in every British household is my giant Sports Direct mug. John sent us these. We each have one. I haven't made a cup of tea in it, mostly because I don't want to drink an entire pot of tea at once. However, they do make good soup mugs. But if you're feeling brave enough, I suppose, and if you drink quickly enough and have a big enough bladder, you could conceivably have a mug of tea out of the Sports Direct mug. I'd imagine you'd have to use at least a couple tea bags and steep it for a very long time. Just look at this, like compare, compare the meerkat. For compare meerkats, come to compare the meerkat.com. The size difference of these. When it comes to mugs, bigger is not always better. That's an important lesson that I've learned in my mug purchasing. Going forward, I've decided that if I shop for mugs, I probably need to carry a Stroopwafel with me because 
If they don't pass the Stroopwafel test, it's less likely that I'm going to be sitting down with a cup of tea at nine o'clock in that mug if I can't put my Stroopwafel on it. If you have a favorite mug or think that there's some mugs out there I should try, let me know in the section below. I'm really interested in trying new British designers and brands and styles, particularly when it comes to my kitchen. I might run out of cabinet space, but I feel like I mean, I'm gonna be marrying a British guy. There's gotta be room in the cabinet for mugs, right? The more the merrier. Thank you for watching this video and for checking out my mug collection. If you liked this video, leave a little like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. It says beeha, it says beeha, it says beeha.